the end of the school year comes awards, certificates, and medals, but for one Hardin County fifth grader, she only wanted one thing, a memory that will last a lifetime. WLKY's Colin Mayfield shows us her graduation surprise. Grace Reyes, it was a fifth grade graduation that she'll always remember because of a promise made by a father a year ago. That person, please come forward. <laughs> Major Julian Reyes was stationed overseas, but he promised his daughter he would be back no matter what. My command released me early, actually. So I'll be able to uh, come in and make it and don't have to come back to Korea. As certificates of completion were passed out to her peers, Grace was called last. Unaware of her father's presence, there was a bit of confusion for Grace as the surprise played out. I was like, I, I didn't know what they were doing. But then, a sight she hadn't seen in more than 365 days. I'm happy. I missed him and I love him. And the emotion was felt all over the room. Later, Grace told us why it's so emotional having her dad gone thousands of miles away and the challenges it presents. It's hard and it's hard to be without him. And it's, it's hard to go through school. I made it. I, that's probably basically why she wants to, she wants to, she wants to you know, tell her that I made, I made the promise that I, I made. While the family gets as much time with Julian as they can, he tells us he will be deployed back to Afghanistan next November. From Hardin County, I'm Colin Mayfield, WLKY News. And Grace also received awards to recognize her attendance and her good academic standing. Here we go. You want to start reporting at the door? Yeah. You can just start recording whenever, really. Go ahead and start. Stay in the table. Okay. okay. Uh -huh. Sorry. You go on him. You know which one she yeah. is? Yeah, she's all in. Do you want me to take a video or something? No, no, she's doing it. I know she's going to see it. Can we turn around and can we talk to her? Let me come, I'm, I want to come in from the other side. Okay, I'll talk, other. I'll talk to her. I'm going to talk to her. Yeah, yeah. Stay right there. Let me go around. I gotta go back around. Over. Friday. <laughs> <laughs> 
We're doing camp. <laughs>
So this is Sergeant Derek O'Brien, who has been fighting for our country over in Afghanistan. So let's give him a huge stepbrother over there and they were fighting here in the home front by dad was stationed overseas so let's give them a big round of applause for that. My name is Captain Scott Parks stationed at uh, Ramstein Germany and currently deployed to the United States Southern Command. Now that I'm here and there's areas where I have Wi-Fi I'm so tempted to just go to Facebook and say hey everybody I'm here I'm home. See my wife Stephanie, my daughter uh, Ileana and Sophia kind of tricked them uh, to go to SeaWorld today. And we're here celebrating the 4th of July, right? Because My wife and two daughters, they have no clue that I'm going to be here today. A lot of fun. Um, we've actually never been here before. Well, yeah. the small kids haven't, I have. Uh, we live in Germany. Yes, we live in Germany. This is uh, very special to be back in San Antonio for uh, 4th of July. One, because it's home, my hometown, but two, uh, my wife and I, we got married on the 7th of July, 2007, so 7th anniversary is a big deal, and uh, I would really regret it if I missed it. We love to connect with, our, with everybody, with our guests, and especially our military. And one way we're able to do that is through a Waves of Honor program. The Waves of Honor program allows active duty military and three direct dependents to be able to come to SeaWorld and enjoy one complimentary visit throughout 2014. And we decided that on the 4th of July Independence Day to bring one of our own hometown heroes in and welcome him home and do it right here at SeaWorld at Shamu Theater. We would like to welcome one of our very own hometown heroes. Returning from his second tour overseas, Captain Scott Parks. You, you know what's coming, but you're just never ready for it. And it's just an amazing feeling to be a part of something like that. To see their reaction and to know that you've done just even this little something to make this family just their day, their week, their year just that much better. And we were able to pull it off and we were very excited to be a part of it. Oh my gosh, this was the best surprise I've ever had from anybody ever. Madeline, really?
Ladies and gentlemen. No way! Hey! You are such a snob! What's up, lady? Oh my god! Oh my god, we were just talking about you! That is too funny! Did you guys know her? No. Yeah. Wow! Yeah. How did you get here? Oh. I mean, dog. Well, that's why she I picked him up. in town. Was to pick him up oh. in the airport or something. We were just talking, she just made him a Valentine's! Oh. <laughs> well, then you can go give it to me! Right. You're so sweet! Cause he's like, Are you home for the weekend? Yeah. Just the weekend? Oh. Kidding, you accept that. Oh. I did, I didn't know, I actually suspected you were coming early. I, no, I just figured it out. You. Hi. Chris is like, Why is Dad always over by the door? Did yeah. you know? go to the office. Yes. Uh, Do you want to show daddy where you sit and stuff? I'll be right back. Okay? Yeah. Mommy has to sign you up. Give it